What's happening, my tribe, while we're here? Recently, I farmed two magma blades. The RNG God was kind to me. Honestly, at the best time, because for those who don't know, God of War Ragnarok is upon us. And the magma blades look really similar to the Blade of Chaos. So it was a no-brainer to play as Kratos. And for that, I made a freaking powerful strength fate build to unleash the power of the magma blades and burn everything to the ground. But to be truly Kratos, the God of War in Elden Ring, I will tell you how to get the blades, how to set up the build, a few armor combinations for you to pick from, and the character sliders so you look and kick ass like Kratos. So watch till the end so you don't miss a thing. Game on. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. Before we start, remember that memberships are live in case you want to support the channel even further. Check the description down below for the link to learn more about the exclusive perks. I'm really pumped to play again as Kratos in God of War Ragnarok, and to play as him in Elden Ring, you only need four things. The weapon, the armor, the build, and the character sliders. So starting with the weapon, you need the magma blades. They are pretty similar looking to the blades of Chaos. They don't have the chains, but are really powerful with physical and fire damage. At max level, scales C with its strength, D with dexterity, and C with faith. It has low requirements and it possesses a unique skill called Magma Shower that does one spinning slash while dropping magma all around you and with an additional input you can do a follow-up attack that does two more spinning slashes with more magma spilled. This weapon is better to scale it with strength than faith if you plan to use power tens in combos but need to have points in faith because the skill Magma Shower scales with it. And since you're already going to have points in faith, you can add a few fire incantations to make the most of that fire damage with this build. To obtain them, you need to kill the man serpent enemies wielding them, located in Volcano Manor. The quick farm route I did to kill two close man serpents was first spawn in the Temple of Aegle's Side of Grace, then go up the elevator on the right exit, then kill this annoying cannoli on the left, then go through this exit on the right and kill the serpent on the stairs. Then go back and keep going through the hallway and you will find the second one at the end. Then teleport back and start again. I highly recommend farming them using items that can increase your discovery like the Silver Tear Mask and the Silver Scarab Stylesman and the occasional Silver Foul Foot, but it wears off when you teleport back the side of grace. Or try to farm it with another build you have with High Arcane. Good luck on farming them because they are a pain to get. Now, the way I play it is using a combination of incantations with power stancing combos and the skill Magma Shower. Against mobs or bosses, you can start engaging doing a Giant's Flame Take the incantation while the enemy is still at a distance. And for big bosses like dragons or big trees, use the Burn O Flame that does multiple hits for those massive enemies. Then when you get to close range combat, you can rely on power sensing combos combined with Magma Shower skill or the other way around. Do more magma showers with the occasional power stance in combo. For mobs crowd control, you can do the magma shower or the flame fall upon them incantation that will have a nice spread to hit swarming enemies. The buffs I use are Golden Vow and Flame Grand Strength to boost the physical and the fire damage with the magma blade, magma shower, and fire incantations. I already mentioned that you need two magma blades for the build, also the giant seal that will boost attack power of the giant's flame incantation by 20%. In particular, the fire incantation of this build, giant's flame take the flame fall upon them, and burn of flame. The giant seal is located inside the giant conquering hero's grave in mountaintops of the giants. Now, you got four armor options to look like the part as Kratos. These combinations are my preference and I'm sure you can use them or combine them with the other pieces that you like. The first combination is resembling Kratos from God of War 3 with no helmet, rotten Great Keeper cloak, altered version, the Briar gauntlets, and the rotten Duelist Greaves. The second combination resembles the default exile armor from God of War, no helmet, Champion Pauldron, Summer Bracelets, and Omen Killer Boots. The third combination resembles Medium Armor from God of War, No Helmet, Ronin Armor, Radon Gauntlets, and Radon Greaves. The fourth and final combination is similar to a heavy armor Kratos uses in God of War with No Helmet, Beast Champion Armor, the Altar version, Elden Lord Bracers, and Elden Lord Greaves. For the Talisman, you need to use Fire Scorpion Charm that increases fire damage by 12%. 
increasing damage of the magma blades, the magma shower skill, and your fire incantations, but increases physical damage taken by 10%. It's found on a wooden platform to the west of Forlade in Malgan Mir. The next talisman is Shard of Alexander that will increase attack power of skills by 15%, in particular the magma shower. It drops from Iron Fist Alexander after completing his questline. Next is the Carrion Filigree Crest that will lower the FP cost of skill by 20%, lowering the cost of Magma Shower from 12 to 9 FP, so you can use it more time without running out of FP. And the last talisman slot, I like to use it depending on your need. If you use more power sensing combos and Magma Shower, Use Green Turtle Talisman, for example, if you feel you need more physical damage negation. Use the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. Or if you're gonna use more incantations, use the Flux Canvas Talisman to increase their damage. It's up to you and how do you intend to play this build. For the Physique Flash, you need to use the Faith Knot Crystal Tier that will increase Faith by 10 for 3 minutes, increasing the attack rating of Magma Blades and the damage of incantations. It's located in a bowl under a tree on the ground in the Whipping Peninsula, north of the Demi-Human Fortress Ruins. And the next tier is the Flame Shrouding Crack tier that will increase fire attacks by 20% and last 3 minutes. Stacking with the Fire Scumper Charm Talisman, it's dropped by the Earth Tree Avatar in the Minor Air Tree in Kaelid. It's the Earth Tree on the left on the map. Like I mentioned before, the offensive incantations I'm using on this build are Giant's Flame Take D that launches a massive fireball. This incantation can work as an opener or meet fight cast when you're not on close combat distance. Next is Flame Fall Upon Them that casts several fireballs at once, creating an arc that can hit several enemies that are crowning you. Both can be purchased from Brother Corrin or the Big Turtle Pope after giving the Giant's Prayer Book, and that Prayer Book is found on the top of the Guardian's Garrison in Mountain Tops of the Giants. Next incantation is Burn of Flame. It's an incantation against massive bosses to hit them several times and is obtained after killing the Fire Giant and trading his remembrance with Enya at the Round Table Hold. The last offensive incantation is Flame of the Fell God that creates a slow moving fireball that explodes and sets the ground on fire. It could act as an opener too because it's really slow and has a mid reach. It's found in Lurna of the Lakes when you defeat Adan, Thief of Fire, inside the Malefactor's Evergen. And also we got two buff incantations with Golden Vow, which increases during 80 seconds the damage by 15%, and Flame Grammy Strength that will increase physical damage by 20% and fire damage by 20% by 30 seconds. So it's a must within a fire build when you engage a challenging enemy. The primary attributes of this build are Strength and Faith. The Magma Blades scale better with Strength and Faith and having that, more strength than faith in the build will result in a higher total attack rating, but having points on faith uh, will increase the amount of damage that magma shower and fire incantations can do. And also don't forget, you always need to invest on vigor to avoid getting one-shotted by late game enemies. The character I'm using is a Rebirth Vagabond, so a few of the attributes that you are seeing might differ from yours if you're using a different class. If you're creating this build and Kratos from the beginning, you can start selecting the class Hero, just for the armor, a Confessor, or a Prophet. So for a level 50 character, you won't have access to any of this, the weapons or spells because it's a late game build, but you won't invest on Strength and Faith and play with Strength based weapons. So you want your points around this value. Vigor at 30, Mine at 12, Endurance at 12, Strength at 28, Dexterity at 15, Intelligence at 9, Faith at 16, and Arcane at 7. Now for a level 100 character, you want your points around this value to meet the majority of the incantation requirements. At this time, you still need to play with strength based weapons. So Vigor at 40, Mine at 18, Endurance at 15, Strength at 45, Dexterity at 15, Intelligence at 9, Faith at 30, and Arcane at 7. So for a level 125 character, you want your points around this value. Vigor at 45, Mine at 20, Endurance at 20, Strength at 55 to get to the second soft cap, Dexterity still at 15, Intelligence still at 9, Faith at 33, and Arcane still at 7. Now for a level 200 character like mine, you want your points around this value, Vigor at 60, Mine at 28, Endurance at 20, Strength at 80, Dexterity at 15, Intelligence at 9, 
Faith at 60 and Arcane at 7. So now you have all the armaments, talismans and attributes to play as Kratos the God of War. But one thing is missing, the character sliders to recreate him when changing the cosmetics or creating a new character. But now we'll show you the sliders with the elevator music. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and I got you interested to play as Kratos, please hit the like button and subscribe if you don't want to miss any more of my videos. Or if you have played as the God of War but with a different build or weapon, or you have an idea for another Kratos build, please share it down in the comments below. Thank you all for your support. And now check out more OP builds at the right side of your screen to kill all your enemies in Elden Ring in seconds. As always, be safe and see you on the next one. Ciao!